From bidding to planning and now execution, this is a three-year-long project that is nearing completion. Jason Goh from Danish multinational freight forwarding firm Blue Water Shipping is overseeing the move of these seemingly unmovable objects called suction piles. Suction piles are placed deep into the seabed to anchor a floating production, storage and offloading unit for the oil and gas industry. In this project, the suction piles will go 900 meters below the water surface and be partially buried into the seabed. The size of one suction pile exceeds the 4.5 meter height limit for road transportation. Sea travel is the only way. Moving one suction pile a mere 100 meters from the fabrication yard to the wharf is a Herculean task in itself. Moving nine of them, however, makes the task nine times more challenging. The constraint here that we face is the space, and all the suction piles are kept in the workshop, and we have to use mechanical rollers to roll out the suction piles. Because of its sheer weight, two cranes are needed to hoist each suction pile onto a cometo, a platform trailer used for transporting heavy objects. Once the trailer reaches the quayside, each suction pile will be transferred by a crane barge to move to Jurong Port as its port of loading. But transferring the suction piles onto the barge can only take place during the high tide. The team has a window period of four hours. High tide help us uh, in a way because we are using a crane barge to hoist up the suction piles. It has its water depth limitation, so we have to do that uh, during the high tide and uh, it gives more uh, space and uh, more deeper draft allow for, to, to allow the crane barge to come in and to hoist up the suction piles. The man in the street will be forgiven for thinking moving is mere physical work. In reality, there is a rationale behind every move. The reason is because we need to spread the weight evenly and you make it easier to hold the bunch to Jurong Port. We are committed to using technology to innovate our operations and processes to increase productivities and reduce costs. We are in the business of supplying ornamental fish and it is extremely important that the fish are still alive when they are delivered to the client. This is why we use Singtel's track and trace solution because delivery on time is literally a matter of life and death. A city that constantly renews, rebuilds and reinvents itself. Singapore has become a magnet for designers of international renown. Logistically, Singapore is an absolutely ideal and efficient place from which to live. Coming from three different countries, we saw Singapore as the ideal place to start our design studio. Find out how these design superheroes are helping the Lion City find its own unique design identity. Tonight at these times. This program is presented by Design Singapore Council. China under pressure as inflation has shown no signs of letting up. Food prices went up by a whopping 10%. What are authorities doing to calm public unhappiness? More on East Asia tonight. He ruled Egypt with an iron fist and survived at least six assassination attempts on his life. After 32 years of repressive rule, President Hosni Mubarak finally succumbs to the power of the people in a historic revolution. Can Egypt regain its footing in the post-Mubarak era? The fall of Egypt's modern-day pharaoh on Insight Thursday at these times. For over 45 years, Jurong Port has been making good moves. In general cargo, bulk cargo, and containerized cargo, 
We are recognized as Asia Pacific's multi-purpose port of the year. Thinking of good moves, Jurong Port. Vessel MP Palesa has called on Singapore. There is little time to waste for logistics firm Blue Water. But before she can leave with the nine suction piles, the lasting needs to be done. This is to prevent the ship from potentially flipping over when the suction piles are transferred. The manner in which the suction piles are placed is a carefully thought out process to ensure that the vessel is well balanced. Each suction pile literally inches towards its final position onto the vessel. So much so, even a heavy downpour is no deterrent for the dedicated team. The uh, most satisfaction in this project was uh, the hard work that our people has been uh, doing. Uh, it was way back in three years ago. And uh, now we finally see that uh, things are moving. And... Uh, Right now we are standing here, we are going to save all the piles and the anchor chain from Singapore to Africa. Yes! <laughs> Vincent is carrying out the final safety debrief to his team. The road will be closed after the last bus operating the vicinity has passed by. Bob Singh has a four-hour window period to install the truss before public buses resume service the following morning. But he knows there is no room for mistakes as the SPMT moves the truss to its final destination. The most difficult part about the job is about putting the truss into its designated position. It's teamwork at its best. Slowly but surely, the truss is set into place. Their staff has been proved to be very capable. They know the jobs. Uh, they have the launching tonight go on without any glitches. In project logistics, we are often uh, facing pressure in terms of timing because uh, everything has a schedule and uh, not often than not, uh, there's always delays in, uh, in every part of the project. So we have to be constantly updating, the, uh, con talking, communicating with the clients uh, about how to plan our, this, uh, our developments and uh, keeping up with the schedule. And again, the other one will be your the ability to lead the team to keep the morale high throughout the project so to ensure that everybody is at the, their best performance. of the population in Singapore lives in public housing by the Housing and Development Board or HDB. To date, around 4,900 HDB blocks have been offered lift upgrading. The lift upgrading program is slated to be completed by 2014. The coordination required for delivering prefabricated lift shafts is massive. Amongst the many transport companies involved, one man shoulders the responsibility for his company, Jerry Lim from Woodlands Transport. His company makes between 12 to 18 trips a day for the lift upgrading program. Before the lift shafts can be installed, they are loaded onto the trailer the day before to minimize the noise disruption in the neighborhood during installation. My drivers have to ensure that it's all within the trailer. I mean, the components itself must not exit or protrude out from the edge of the trailer. And uh, after loading up, they have to 
strap the components to make sure that it's tight properly. Otherwise, uh, there is a possibility that it might fall off the trailer during transportation to site. Based on his years of experience, Jerry knows that the more built up the area is, the more his drivers need to be cautious. After all, they are working in residential estates. For lift upgrading, it's because of uh, the access on site, whereby there's a lot of other road users and uh, the residents around this area and the cranes on standby. There will be a lot of children running around, students, and uh, we need to take care of all these safety factors and especially the timing, which is very crucial, not to allow the crane to be on standby. Lift shafts are made of either concrete or steel. As concrete lift shafts weigh 10 times more than their steel counterparts, using steel lift shafts whenever possible increase efficiency and productivity for everyone. Concrete shaft uh, per floor is about 10 ton. And over the years, we have uh, developed and uh, cut down the weight of the steel shaft per floor to about a ton. Then for steel shaft, because it's only one ton per floor, at one go, we can fabricate four storey at one go. And with that, we can leave it at one go. And we can do, for typical, say, 12 storey, we can have just three to four stacks at one go and we can finish within a day. Whereas compared to concrete shaft, we, take, we, need, we need about a month to do. That really helped the efficiency from the point of a logistic as well as from our construction in terms of waiting time and the coordination. Basically, there are different kind of customers that we get to meet daily and uh, different requirements and different kind of drivers. Every one of them are all very special. Their requests, their needs and what they want us to deliver for them. And uh, delivering to site is another great challenge. We have to care for the safety of the public, we have to care for the safety of our drivers and we have to ensure that the goods are delivered on time and not causing any delay. Timely delivery of lift shafts, accurate discharging of construction materials, safe installation of a pedestrian bridge and the engineering expertise behind transporting suction piles. They are the drivers behind Singapore's logistics industry. Logistics is, the, is an integration of information, technologies, inventory, warehousing, planning and coordination. You learn a new thing on every job. Nothing is the same. I have a very good team with me. Uh, together, we are able to have uh, good sessions of uh, discussion, brainstorming to come up with the solution. Making sure that everything goes well. That's our greatest satisfaction. A moving story was presented by Singapore Logistics Association and Jurong Port and supported